Hi, welcome to the new BVBRC landing page. BV stands for Bacterial and Viral Bioinformatics Resource Centers. What I want to show you today is how you can use filters on the top of the different tables to quickly winnow down the data to get things that you want. So let's say we're using the global search button and say I'm interested in Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever virus. So I enter that and I do the search. We have to wait for a second, but it comes back with the search result page. The data is summarized up here, but you can scroll down and see the types of data that you have here. But let's say I'm interested in the genomes. I can get that from this location or from this location. So I click on that. And then here's a table of all the data. So it's got the species, the strain, the genome status, if there's quality scores, those are provided, and different data like gem bank accession number, et cetera. And all of this, you can even add more things by clicking on this little plus icon here. It'll show you other things that you can add. They may not be applicable for viruses because some of these are bacteria or vice versa. If you're looking at bacteria, H and N type wouldn't mean much to you. But anyhow, so here are some different choices here. So let's say I want to filter in on this data. There's 4,144 entries here. That's a lot. I want to try to filter it down. I could have done it using the advanced search up here. But if I didn't do that, once I'm at this page, there are several ways that you can do it. You can do the keyword search here, and this will also deploy the advanced search. But what I really like are these filters. So let's click on that. And you can see that you can filter on different facets of information. And this is part of the beauty of us parsing all those words out of the GenBank records in BBBRC to make things searchable and to help you do these things. And we assign these kind of metadata here to make your job easier, to enable you to be able to search for this stuff. You really can't do this in GenBank or other places. So let's say that I'm interested over here under host common name, I'm interested in Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever viruses that are associated with ticks. And then let's say I'm interested in ticks from Africa. Oh no, I didn't want that. I wanted Asia. So I can click on Asia and I can de-click on Africa. And then you can see it's also filtering the information here. And let's say I'm only interested in the virus that was isolated from ticks in Asia in 1973. And it's that easy to use these filters to drill down into data. And then once I have this, there are a number of things I can do with this. I can look at them individually. And you notice when I click on one, it populates beyond the green bar, all the information associated with that virus, or I can click on all of them and I could create a group. I'll say a new group and I'll say Asian tick viruses, Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. 1973. And I can click add on that. And then I've got a group created. And once I have that, I can do a number of things with that group. I can create a phylogenetic tree. I could go in and do gene trees. There are innumerable things that you can do once you have that data. So I just wanted to show you how easy that was. One more thing, if you click on this icon here, the settings icon here, there are other things you could add in that you could filter on. See, isn't that cool? It's a really great way to find the data that you need. So give it a try. Let us know if you have any questions or need help by clicking on help and then provide feedback and you'll get one of us interacting with you right away. Good luck. Have fun.